you told me you're a little bit nervous about tonight's show, but what fans should expect from this? Uh, we're playing four songs which we haven't done earlier, and you know, a little bit different versions. Than mm. So it's going to be acoustic, and yeah, and we haven't we haven't played acoustic numbers live ever before anyway. So. Mm. Hopefully it goes well. Yeah, yeah that's cool. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so, um, I was listening once again a couple of days ago to the Days of Grace and uh, I want to ask you about Johanna Kurkela. I hope yeah. I said it right. Yeah. And she sang in the album and I don't know much about her, but how did you get to have her on the album? We know her from before. I mean, she's been to a couple of our shows and and then at some point, uh, Tony has written some songs for her. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, as well. So she's a good, she's a friend of the band, and then when we needed some some female vocals, we thought her. Well, we just called her up. Okay, because I loved her. So yeah. I just had this random question. Yeah. So um, I also want to ask you if you have if you are currently working on some new material, maybe. If you can tell me something about that. Uh, well, I know Tommy has written some songs already, and we heard some demos, and we haven't started working on these things together yet. We start to do that, you know, half a year. Uh, yeah, after the summer festivals, we're going to start working. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on, on new stuff, and yeah, hopefully the album comes out sometime. Yeah. It's okay. gonna be next year before it's out. Okay. okay. So um, I have, um, I wanted to tell you this that at a certain point in a band career, there's a need of going beyond music. That is to say, I don't know if you uh, heard that Nightwish is going to make a movie yeah. with an album or with Intertation yeah. with the album and a comic book. Yeah. Will you ever consider uh, doing something like this if you are interested in doing something like this? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, it depends. Of course, if something good comes along and we have a good idea, and then maybe why not? But yeah, right now there's no plans for doing that. <laughs> something like that. Probably well, not. I think if Tony gets a good, stupid idea to do something like that at some point, then maybe we will do it. So I should ask Tony first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay. Um, I also think that what kills music is boredom and expectations. Um, yeah, because uh, <laughs> in a career, yeah, you know, because in a career, I think it's normal to a certain point to evolve and try new sounds and new paths. Yeah. And you know what I'm talking about. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, for us, in order to be able to do this, we have to keep it interesting, and that means that we have to try different things because we, we grow and get fatter and older and <laughs> have all kinds of new ideas and stuff, and, and you change your mind about stuff, you know, like mm -hmm. some, some things you, you do on an album, then two years later you're like, mm, no, I don't want to do the same thing again, so mm -hmm. then we're going to keep trying and find, finding new things with every album, so mm -hmm. it's more interesting for us that way, mm -hmm. hopefully for fans as well. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes, you said it right. You said it right because sometimes <coughs> fans do not like changes at all. Yeah, they always. It's fine. They always will have the older records. They can listen to them. You know, listen to another band. Yeah, it's <laughs> fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, if you don't like it, there's tons of great bands out there. You listen to them, some other band. That, you know, that's what I do if I don't like something. Yeah, that's cool. But you know, Italians are very picky. <laughs> I'm boring sometimes, and yes, because you know my one of my favorite band is Dream Theater, and fans are picky, and they always are always talking about images and words. But I like also the newer works, so just leave it, leave it. There's yeah. one image in the words that are newer, newer stuff, yeah. and newer sounds that are cool either way. Yeah. Yeah. So um. So you're not shooting the DVD in Milan anymore, and no. you're shooting that in Finland. 
I know that organizing events in Italy can be a pain in the ass, and especially if you are planning something special because you you need permissions and they cost a lot. Uh, so, what can you tell me about this? Well, this was a whole mess that started with uh, we got some wrongful information about the real cost and stuff like that. And, and I mean, it's uh, it was a really big pain in the ass for us, and especially also, uh, it's horrible that we have to move it to another location. <coughs> but to, from our point of view, I think it's maybe better to disappoint the fans who were about to come to that show and make a great DVD than to make a shitty DVD and disappoint everybody else. You know? so we didn't know why things, how much they did cost. Over here. So it, it was like just like the pyro uh, budget would have been like just for the permission, you know? Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> so, to go, so. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, and, and that was also something that that we were misinformed about. Yeah. So I mean, we we thought we were told, okay, it's, it's going to be like this and that, and we go fine. Yeah, let's go to Italy, let's do it there. It's going to be beautiful, and then all of a sudden, you know, and we are not talking mm -hmm. about it few hundred euros here, we're talking about thousands, yes. thousands of euros, so mm -hmm. we couldn't just, we couldn't afford to do what we wanted, so, but it, it is, uh, it's, a, it, it is a shitty situation, and for that we're sorry, and, you know, what can you do, so, this night is going to be really special, and I hope that makes up at least for, yes, yes, but I think, I mean, you're right, because here in Italy, we are expensive. <laughs> we have expensive fees. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are in a shitty situation because you know venues are closing here in Milan. Yeah. Bands are forced to play in stinky and small discos. You know, for example, Rage last year yeah. were forced to cut the set list because they were playing in a small venue, very small venue, because there was the disco night. Yeah, uh, so. Yes, so it was a very shitty situation. We yeah. are in a shitty situation. So I wish I could live in Scandinavia to <laughs> see cool metal bands in venues with a nice promotion. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there's, this, this is a nice venue. Yeah. I mean, we played it before and we always had a good time. And Food is great, the stage is big, and the world is really awesome, so I don't complain. <laughs> We're not playing discos yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we make a really special new album <laughs> nobody likes it, then, so album, then we can start to play at hotel pizza bars. places and hotel <laughs> bars. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would like to hear something acoustic from Sonata Artica. <laughs> well, you will hear it tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. Oops. So, uh, what do you think of your supporting art, Labyrinth? They're Italian and I think Italy in this last year has some cool, power, progressive metal bands. I haven't checked them out that much yet. I mean, it's only I've before a show. So I bought their album like, I don't know, 12 years ago or something? In the 70s? <coughs> no, <yeah. laughs> Just after Beatles. Yeah. yeah. No, what? And after that, I haven't listened to like I did like that album. I don't remember which the was. return to freedom to yeah. It it was Return when to Stratovarius was really big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like ages ago. Yeah. Okay. Well, they are good. Hmm. So thank you very much for your time and patience. And would you like to leave a message to your Italian fans and our Spazio Rock users? Look at the camera, please. Hello, Spazio Rock users. I'm Henrik. And this is Marco. Thank you. From Sonata Arctica. <laughs> and we're going to play a kick ass show for you guys tonight. And so, probably when whoever is watching this season, it was too late. But we did some special things and they worked out really great. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> 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 Alright, cheers. <laughs>